Hey guys, my name is James. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick, easy and tasty quiche. Now the quiche recipe that I'm going to be showing you is a very basic and simple recipe. So if you want to substitute some of the ingredients for another or if you want to add a few such as ham or even zucchini or parmesan, you can easily do that because the quiche recipe in general is one of the most flexible recipes that you can work with. So it's a great way to experiment in the kitchen. So before we get going today, be sure to like the video down below and to subscribe. To start the recipe off, you're going to be using 250 to about 300 grams of mushrooms. Since mushrooms are mostly water, you can add more if you want. It's just going to make more of a mixture. I'm going to be using, for the sake of most people not having shallots in their house, I'm going to be using one medium onion. But if you want to, and typically if you have the shallots, you use these little guys. And it's basically a sweet onion. And they're very easy to use in the kitchen. They sweeten a lot of sauces. It's very popular in French cuisine as well because you add them to almost every sauce you will be using and cooking with shallots. I'm going to be using manchego cheese today because I'm in Spain, but typically you have gouille or parmesan. But again, you can add any cheese that you want to the mixture because again, this is extremely flexible and easy. And if you wanted to add like a nice sharp cheddar as well, that would also work. You're going to be using about three to 400 milliliters of heavy cream or whipping cream. If you have it, if you don't want to use this much heavy cream, you can split the heavy cream, half heavy cream, half milk. Now for the second purposes of this being an easy recipe, I'm going to be using a pre-made pie crust and I'm going to be using puff pastry because it has butter, it's very light and fluffy, so it's very easy to make a quiche in. If you want to make it yourself, you can. But, just for the sake of this being a quick and easy recipe, I'm going to be using a pre-made pie crust. Also, I would suggest if you're buying a pre-made pie crust that you leave it out a few minutes beforehand to come up to room temperature so it's easier to manipulate when you're putting it in the pan. So before we cut any of the ingredients, we're going to be working efficiently. We're going to be turning the oven on and presetting it to about 180 to 200 centigrade. My oven doesn't work very well, so I may turn it up to 200 or 210. But after you cut all the ingredients, before you saute, we're going to be laying the puff pastry. We're going to put the puff pastry in the oven, and while that's cooking in the oven or pre-cooking, we're going to then saute all the veg. So for me, I'm going to be cutting the onions and bernoise, so you don't have that crunch when you bite into it and you don't notice them. If you want, you can also cut them in julienne, which are thin strips. Whatever suits your fancy, whatever you want. For the mushrooms, I'm going to be slicing them and then I'm going to be sauteing them so they have a nice color to them as well. So if your mushrooms have a little bit of dirt on them, such as this here, you can either brush them off with a paper towel or something else, or you can give them a quick rinse. The only thing is if you give them a quick rinse, it needs to be very quick because mushrooms are like a sponge. They absorb water, they absorb oil, and if you leave them in anything for too long. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a few different cuts that you can make with the mushrooms if you want. You can either cut them in slices, which I'm going to do, just thin little slices such as this. You can cut them in quarters if you want. This is a little big for quarters. If they're smaller, you can just cut them in fours and you can saute them such as this. Or if you want, if they're a little bigger, you can cut them in sixes, which will be just like this. You have six slices. Again, it depends on what you want. You can also cut them in, in halves and then do slices as well. Cut them in eights, tens, whatever you want. But today I'm going to be using this slice and I'm going to be sauteing both sides. So I'm also going to be adding zucchini to the quiche. I'm just going to be adding it on top. I'm and I'm cutting them in circles and then I'm going to be marking them on both sides. I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Now before you put the pastry in the pan, I like to put a little bit of butter around the pan so when you want to take it out, it's not going to stick. You're going to coat the entire pan. Now if you don't want to use butter, you can use oil if, and even if you want to, but I wouldn't, you can use a bit of flour on it. 
Then you're going to line up the puff pastry with the pan. You're going to lay it over the surface. You're going to put it in. Now, if you have a few sides that obviously they don't fit, that's okay because you can cut and you can put in another spot. Then you can remove the paper slowly. And then you're going to mold and work the pastry. Obviously you have pieces that are left over. So you can go around with a parry knife and cut. Uh, if you want, you can make the sides a little decorative if you want to play around with it. If you don't want to, that's okay. The only thing that you want to keep in mind is that when this cooks, the sides, you want to have a little higher because when it, this heats up, it's going to shrink. And if it shrinks too much, then when you pour all the batter or when you pour all the ingredients in, you're going to have a lot pouring out. And that's not a good quiche. When you have the quiche more or less how you want it, you're going to take a fork and you're going to be putting small holes in the quiche crust. The reason why is to allow any of the hot air to escape while it's cooking. Now either you're going to use wax paper, baking paper, or you can put a little piece of aluminum in the pan. And if you have some beans, you can fill the beans in here as well. Since I don't have any, I'm going to put some knives, something heavy. The reason why is to prevent the bottom of the crust when it's cooking or pre-cooking from rising. Because you don't want that. You don't want a bubble in the middle of your quiche. Then you're going to be placing it in the oven to pre-bake for a few minutes. And I would suggest putting it in the middle rack, in the middle part of the oven. Not too high and not too low. But you need to keep an eye on this because you can easily overcook it and burn it. You're going to get the pan nice and hot. You're going to be sauteing the onions until they're clear. You can add a little bit of salt while you're cooking and if you want you can even add a sprig of thyme because the thyme will give a lot of flavor to the dish as well. Then you're going to be putting them after you saute the onions, you're going to be putting them on a separate plate to let them cool down and you're going to repeat the process with the mushrooms and with anything else that you want to cook. So when you're cooking the mushrooms, if you have too many in for the pan, you're going to take a portion of the mushrooms and saute the mushrooms. Otherwise, they're going to release too much water and you're going to be boiling the mushrooms instead of sauteing. Once you take the pastry out of the oven, allow it to cool down. Take your bowl, measure about 400 milliliters of heavy cream, and like I said earlier, if you want to split, you can, half cream, half milk. You're gonna take two eggs, and you're just going to take the egg yolks, not the white. Now, you can take a little bit of salt, but remember, you've already added salt to the other ingredients, so you shouldn't need that much. Just a pinch. You can take a whisk if you have one, or you can also use a spoon. Once that's all ready, you're going to take the ingredients and you're going to start putting them inside the pie. Okay, now you're going to take the pie crust. You can put all the ingredients inside right now that you want inside the pie. You're just going to mix it. It's easier doing this instead of putting them in the cream. You can put it in the cream if you want. It's not that important. Once you have all the ingredients together, you can add a little bit of cheese and then you can add the mixture. If you have too much, don't worry about it. It's better to have a little too much than too little. If you don't have enough, you can, and you have a little heavy cream left over, you can just take a little bit of the heavy cream and pour it on top.
I would suggest putting a piece of tin foil on top to protect it so it doesn't uh, brown too much on this on the surface and you can take it off later and then give a little bit of color to the top you're gonna put it in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes after about 20 minutes give it a check take the aluminum off take a knife out have a look and poke the middle of the quiche if it comes out wet then put it in for another five to ten minutes but keep checking it because with the eggs they're gonna cook very fast anyway guys I hope you liked the video down below be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time